Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Terraria 1.4 Mage Class Playthrough. Uh, as you can see I have a new character here called Wizwer Wizro, Wizro the Ruber Wizard. In his world, the Wizarding World, which is a large journey mode world. I'm going to be setting the difficulty to Master Mode, as you can see, here he is. Uh, so let, first of all, let's go ahead and do that. I just booted the world up and deleted all the extra journey mode items because I don't want those. I don't want the increased placement range. Uh, here it is. As soon as I remembered where the settings were, everything else is going to be staying as default for now. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get straight into it. So, oh, oh so I literally just remembered that this is a mage class playthrough, so apologies for hitting that slime. Um, so basically this like I said, mage class playthrough, so I am going to be only using mage weapons uh, for the duration of the series. Uh, mage weapons are something that I didn't exactly get too much of a usage for in uh, the 1.4 update. I mainly used melee, uh, summoner, and range, mostly range to be honest, uh, until the very end game. Um, so I want to try out as many different new weapons as I can and hopefully have a bit of a challenge and a fun playthrough. Uh, so I made the, my character look somewhat like as much as like as a wizard I could, kind of a nice beard, kind of a robe, a uh, lovely distinct hair colour. And uh, I gave him a different skin colour as well because I picture him as quite old, like he's been living for a few thousand years already, so yeah. Um, I believe I am in master mode, or am I not? It feels like it's... Oh, I am. I don't know. I guess the guide's just being more useful than I normally am expecting him to be. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clear out an area quickly and set up a very basic house since this is master mode and we will probably die immediately if we don't do that. Um, so I'm not going to be doing anything too fancy for just to start our house, but I do want to make it mostly in the center of the world so that we can respawn back there if we die. I'm going to go ahead and grab as much day bloom as we can as well. Hopefully the guy can fend off that slime for me, that'd be quite handy. Um, but yeah, new series, very exciting. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. I know I am. I've been looking forward to doing a mage class play, well, a class playthrough in general. It's the first time I've ever done a class playthrough. Uh, so it's very exciting. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can pull it off without too much difficulty. Uh, I think in regards to the classes, mage is it shouldn't be too bad for master mode. Um, it might get might be a bit difficult early on until we get well, obviously more mana stars and an actual weapon that we can use as well. Um, but for now, it's going pretty well. I'm just going to grab a bit of dirt to fill in that hole that's back near my base and have a bit of an exploration to see what is about. But it looks like there's nothing too exciting yet, so uh, I'm just going to carry on. Fairly standard world. Um, set it to be a large world, like I think I mentioned, and I also set it to be in the do you have the corruption as its um, primary source of evil? Um, because I just prefer the corruption over the crimson, to be honest. I will make a secondary world like I did in my previous playthrough to get the crimson only items, but for the most part, we're going to be staying in this world and doing everything that we can. Uh, so I have this quite zoomed in at the moment. Uh, please do let me know if it's too zoomed in or if you prefer it more zoomed out or even more zoomed in. I can't imagine wanting even more zoomed in, but I think this is fine for now anyway. May zoom out as we need to with bosses and such. It would be great if the guy would move so I can fill this hole in. Okay, there we go. So I'll just fill that in real quick and we will get a starting house set up. So I actually don't know why I filled that in because I'm going to dig down to put the uh, wood. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, so I think I might want the rooms to be 15 blocks wide for now. So, uh, well, that'll be 13 blocks wide by the time we get uh, the floor in. If the guy can move, that would be amazing. And um, yeah. Starting off, just basic house. I will be uh, making a. I do have plans to make a lovely mage tower for later in this series once uh, we get a bit more established. So that uh, we can have a lovely base to display all our magical weapons and 
items, and of course the wizard will live there once we get into hard mode as well. Um, for now I'm going to be leaving this as the basic house, just simply because uh, I want to have a house. So I believe if I crack 400 of these I think I can duplicate them, which I will do just for ease of use in the future as well. So let's get set up nice and simple. Nothing too fancy. Uh, this series will probably start off fairly similar to the previous series, obviously, except the difference being that we can't use any weapons to start off with. Uh, so that is a difference there. More of a challenge. Oops, I don't want to pick that up because I need to craft a table of chairs first. So fairly basic design, like I said, once I've crafted this and set the guide to live here, I will go on out and explore a bit, I think, and uh, see what we can get. The guide giving us gel was something that would be very nice, because I would like to be able to duplicate torches as soon as possible. Uh, but since we're doing a melee class please, I'm actually just going to go ahead and get rid of the short sword, because we don't need it. We're not going to be using it. And, and yeah, we'll see if we can find any surface chests, because that would be amazing. And hopefully we can get some good items out of that. So we have our first chest. Oh my god, the Wand of Sparky, which is our magical weapon. That is crazy RNG. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first mage weapon of this series. Unfortunately, it is an annoying one. So it's minus 21% damage, which is quite substantial, to be honest. And... And it also has less speed, um, but it is what it is. We have a weapon, and it's actually pretty decent, despite the fact that it has less damage. Um, we obviously only have one mana star, so we can't spam too much, but uh, I think it's pretty decent for uh, the first episode. Anyway, definitely. Hopefully we can get another one in this chest, potentially without the annoying uh, attribute on it. Do we have any rope? We do, so let me just put a rope up here real quick. And we can get up to this chest and see what's in our second chest. So we have the stool, which is, I think, the first item I got in my last series. So we have the stool. We can now stand up higher. Uh, it doesn't really do much for us, but it does have a quick attribute on it. So we have 4% increase in movement speed, which is nice anyway. I'm going to bring as many of these uh, pots as I can, at least, to get some uh, basic items out of them to start off with. And I'm basically just going to go down here as far as I can and hopefully we got another chest. Here we go. So that was a boomerang in it, which we're not going to use. Um, but I could sell it, so I'll keep hold of it anyway until we get the merchant to move in. And stone is also something that I need to go ahead and get some off since we need to be able to craft a furnace. And I want to probably make my houses out of stone because, well, as a wizard, we're going to be casting a lot of magic and we don't want to set our wooden house on fire now, do we? I'm gonna just grab a bit of resources here and see what's. This hole seems quite high, so it's probably a good idea to put some rope down. Uh, which I will go ahead and do a bit. Okay, so we have some rope. To meet the torches there, so let's put some rope down and see what's in this hole. Whoops. Um, uh, so there's a duck in here, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what a duck is doing here in this cave, but, uh,. Nevertheless, I can hear it. There's another chest, an umbrella. That's actually amazing. At the start of the game for the um, negation of fall damage. I'm gonna put that on my hotbar. So hopefully, if we quickly fall down, we can use that to completely save ourselves. Okay, so I'm just gonna head down here a bit further, a bit deeper, getting to where it's actual cave layer now. The music has changed, so things might start getting a bit more dangerous. Yeah, but so far, so good. Nothing too too dangerous seems to be coming up. Okay, there's obviously a lot of ore around, which I haven't actually grabbed any of yet, but I will say that for now. Oh, this is a minecart track already. That's quite handy. We don't usually see those that high up. So let's just have a uh, quick skid along and see what we can find. Lava already, though. So yeah, this seems to be quite an interesting world anyway. This, this cave system next to our house seems to go quite deep, which is pretty handy. Uh, luckily that slime dipped over because it probably would have dealt a lot of damage. Uh, let's see, Where, how, how big is this, this minecart track? It seems to go quite a long way. 
Fortunately, no one around houses yet. It would be amazing to get one of those in the first episode. Oh, literally, as I said, the, there is an underground house. So let's go down there straight away and see what we can get. Uh, I'm not sure what I would want to, for the first item. Obviously, the cloud in the bottle would be amazing. Um, but I would take any accessory, really, anything we could use. Uh, and I will go ahead and grab this lovely painting here as well, and the keg. So we have shoe spikes, arcane shoe spikes. That's actually amazing for our mage playthroughs. And now we have 20, well, 40 mana already. We have two mana crystals. Um, yeah, that, that's that's great. Very, pretty crazy look already. We got the one who's sparking our first chest and the uh, shoe spike, arcane shoe spikes in the second one. So that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, this is going pretty well. I think I might... Um, Get back up to uh, where we were and see if we can't see if there's anything else along that mine track track and see if we can get any other goodies here in the first episode before it ends. So is it, are these the ones that we can. Uh... Okay, so we can slide down walls in this one, but we can't uh, use them to climb up, so that's why it wasn't, wasn't working there. But we can use the rope that we have, so that's that. Okay, so, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> There we go, first death of the series to a yellow slime. Um, we did go quite deep for the rest straight away though without having any gear, so quite happy with what we got anyway. We obviously have the one of sparking, which I'm very sad that it's an annoying one, but it will, we'll have to make do with that anyway. Um, so now that it's night time, so we obviously explored to the right side we have the cave system and to the left there's just a lot of planes so far. Um, but I do kind of want to see if I can just explore a little bit more and see if I can see a bit more of the world. Although if a lot of zombies start spawning I don't think we'll be able to because we, we can take them down but not too quickly. In fact I'm probably going to open the doors to the house and kill the guide which probably stop that happening. I don't know if they can get in uh, to be honest but I guess I'll wear them away. Um, but yeah, it's probably at night time I'm not going to be able to explore too much, so I might wrap this first episode up here. It's a, been pretty darn successful, to be honest, uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, mainly just because of this one sparking. If it wasn't for this, we would be quite stuck for now. Um, we've got all of this lovely blue kind of painting that I'm going to put up here as well. Um, yeah, so... Uh, first episode, guys, if you have enjoyed, this uh, this, uh, this is a new series that I plan on carrying on until completion, until we take down the Moon Lord and get all the Master Mode relics, similar to our previous playthrough, but only with mage weapons. Uh, so if you have enjoyed, do do leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe if you want to see more of the series or future series, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode, once we'll probably explore a bit more of the world, a bit more spelunking, get some ore, and get some armor, and uh, maybe find a better mage weapon than what we have. But yeah, uh, see you guys in the next episode. Bye!